basis. Thank you. We would like to use this forum to thank you, the media, for the support you gave to the work of the Electoral Commission. We are again entreating you to use your media organizations to promote the district assembly elections. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Tizen. Um, we want to go ahead with the question and answers. Right, so we will have the questions and answer session. So, as the practice has always been, please come this way to watch as a person. You identify your, I mean, yourself by you mentioning your name and organization you present. So, you ask your question. When we are done, we will give the opportunity for the, 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 the non-English speaking station, that's why the key can to also come out with their questions and commissioner will respond to them so they can also uh, benefit from the whole session. And so please let's do the need for um this time for your questions. If you have any questions come out this way and let's take it.
Okay, so the first um, question is um, with respect to those people who registered at the district offices and then maybe the police stations that they were placed. You see, the reason why I said that those who registered in 2023 should not go to the district office is very simple. You may think that because at that time the um, registration center was the district office, you may be tempted to go to the district office. However, when the applicant went to the district office to register, he was asked where he stays and if he has um, evidence of um, maybe the police stations that he registered into. So the registration officers registered them into police stations at where they reside. And if you give your location vividly, you are put into the correct polling stations. So that is the reason why I said they shouldn't go to the district office because it is not an exhibition what center. The polling stations are designated as what exhibition centers. So all police stations are designated exhibition centers. And uh, it is very, very important for those who registered in 2023 because the exercise was done at the district office to go and then check and then find out not only the correction of their details, but to also know exactly where they are placed. So that if it is something like um, police station A, B, or C, or whatever, you will be able to know that this is the police station that I was registered into. The, the second, let me look at the second one, the spillage of the Akosovo Dam. As for other particulars, I can't actually speak to that. But if it is the voter ID card that you have lost, if your name is properly entered into the voters register, you can still vote without the voters ID card. So whether you have the voters ID card or not, on the day of the election, if you are able to know the police, the difficulty is that if you go to the wrong police station, you are going to waste everybody's time because we'll be going through the register, through, through, and then we may not be finding you and all that. But if you go to the right police station, you will be, your name will be on the register and you will be allowed to vote. The, the 50 pesos charge is not part of what we sent to uh, Parliament for under the fees and the service charge or what. I think this one is part of uh, the, the services that uh, he rendered by the service provider. Um, you, you were talking about the CI 128, which is the, I think, the parliamentary constituency. Um, uh, what we did was that, you know, the CI was amending the 128 to enable us to create the Guan constituency was sent to parliament. So, in the process, definitely it will be gazetted. It is not the EC which is responsible for gazetting. So the Attorney General Office will take those necessary steps to do the gazetting for the CI to go through, assuming that the commission would want to create the constituency. Um, the other one is the short code for how long is it going to last. Throughout the exhibition period and at the same time till the end of the year. 
So from this time, this time up to the end of the year, um, the, 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 the short code will be in use. Thank you. The live pictures there from uh, the Electoral Commission's headquarters, Samuel Tite, uh, Deputy EC Chair, addressing the press uh, on the creation of some new constituencies uh, and giving updates on some of the activities of the uh, Commission, which we'll bring to you subsequently uh, in our bulletin.